Hello everyone, me Arijit. It is the second and also the final part of our project real time GPS tracker with Raspberry Pi. And in this video, we will write the Python code for our Raspberry Pi so that it can send the data to our web page, which we have built in the previous video. And also, we will see in real time how much efficiently our tracker is working. So, let's get started. So before you watch this video, make sure that you have watched my previous video where I have shown you how to make this GPS tracking web page from scratch. And in this video, we are going to just write the code to send the GPS data to this web page from our Raspberry Pi. And also, if you don't know how to use a GPS model with Raspberry Pi, then you can watch this video how to use Neo 6 GPS model with Raspberry Pi as here I have shown you how to use GPS module with Raspberry Pi and also how to write a python code to access the gps data here in this video we are going to use the same python code with very few modifications so make sure that you have watched these two videos before proceeding further as always the links of the videos are in the description so in this video at first we have to write a python code to send the gps data to the web page from the raspberry pi so now let's write the code first so i have written this python code in one of my previous videos so in this video i have written this python code and i have explained how it works so you can watch this video for detailed explanation of this code so here i am not going to explain you the code again now just let's run the code in raspberry pi and see what's the output so first we have to connect to the raspberry pi so here i am using putty and i will connect to ssh but you can use VNC or Diet HDMI connection, whatever you want. If you are using SSH, you can write Raspberry Pi dot local in IP and the port will be 22. The default username is Pi and the password is Raspberry. Now I have logged into my Raspberry Pi. Now let me change the folder here. So here I am in my desktop and let's create a file here, new Python file. So let's say the name is uh, GPS3 so nano gps3.py now just copy the code and uh, paste it here now save it using control x and then press y now we have to run this code so before you run this code you need to set up few things now I have already talked about all those things in my raspberry pi with new 6 and gps module video so you watch that video and do all those setups because without those this code is not going to work so make sure that you have did all those and now let's run this code. So write python and the name of the file which is gps3.py and now as you can see it is printing the gps data the latitude and longitude. Uh, okay so here it is printing it and now we have to send this data to our web page. So we have to modify the code. Now you can get this modified code in our web page so let me modify the code now here i am copying the code from my website to save the time now the link of the website is in the description so here we need to import few more libraries now these are like these libraries are for pubnub because we need to use pubnub to send the data from our raspberry pi to web page and uh, we are using pubnub because in our web page also we have used pubnub now here we need few more variables for uh, pubnub so here the most important one is the channel name which is raspi tracker the same channel name you have to use in the web page so if you remember in our last video we have used the same raspi tracker channel name and as you can see we have used raspi tracker so the same channel name we have to use in the python code also and now then you have here the publish key and subscribe key so in the last video i have shown you how to get these keys from the website so here i am copying the keys from my account so don't copy from here because i will delete these keys after the tutorial so make your own keys and then copy and paste them in the code and it is totally free so definitely you can do that and uh, that's it now finally here the thing will be same almost so uh, we need to create a pubnub object and uh, and then we have to subscribe to the channel using this pubnub object so basically what will happen is that uh, 
we our object have to subscribe to the same channel and then publish the data on that channel so that our web page can uh, get those data from this channel that's why you have to subscribe to this channel from our python code and now finally here instead of printing out the data we have to send the data now to do so uh, let me indent the code okay because indent station is important in python so sorry uh, yeah so if you if you can see here here we are sending the publishing those gps data so basically uh, in this loop we are getting the lat and long latitude and longitude then i we are putting this data in this lat and long variable and then we are sending this variable through the messages and we are publishing them on the same channel and finally here we are printing for the confirmation and here we have a exception handling so let's copy the code and uh, now create a new file in uh, so let's say gps 4.py and uh, paste the code now control x and y to save this code and let's finally run this code so if you run this code as you can see and now let me refresh my web page okay so make sure your raspberry pi is connected with internet except that it will not work so now here run the code and uh, in few seconds you will see as you can see it is printing so that means it is sending the data okay it is printing the time token so that means it is sending the data now here if we press start tracking as you can see our web page has received the data and it is showing me in the map so this is currently my location here and if i zoom it so as you can see so actually i am in inside of my home and inside home gps doesn't work pretty well that's why it is a little bit fluctuating but uh, so let me take a small work and we will see how much accurately it is working so as you can see here i am taking a small work home with the gps tracker and in the left screen you can see that i am going through the rows with it and i have connected this with my uh, power bank for the power and also i have connected this with my phone hot hotspot so that it can get the internet access but anyways you can connect this with your uh, a dongle a gps module gps gprs module or maybe a portable hotspot anything but just make sure that your raspberry pi is connected to the internet except that it will not work and uh, also i have first forwarded this video and as you can see that our tracker is working perfectly in real time situations so in the last video many people asked me why i am using a raspberry pi to make a simple gps tracker easily one can make this using arduino but the actual thing is that definitely using Arduino we can make a GPS tracker but if you are making a big project like maybe a robotics car or maybe a drone or something like that and maybe in that project you want to add a GPS feature like this in that case you can use this whole project as a small part of your big project and in that case it will be very much useful anyways thank you for watching my video hit the like button if you have enjoyed this project and make sure you have subscribed to my channel for more this kind of videos and projects